I mean, they're having great games so far. We've seen absolute action-packed games. All three games looking pretty different. And uh, we're getting here into King Sejong Station in just literally a second. Literally a second. And so King Sejong Station, uh, as some of you might know, it was a hot patch or hot fix patch, I guess you could call it, um, in the two seasons ago at this point. And it was just kind of tossed in the middle because the Koreans demanded it. So, it looks like we're going to see a similar opening from Hearthstone. And... Alright, we're just uh, getting everything looking good. Just for you guys. It's starting in the top left corner. It's the light pink Protoss. Down to one in the best of seven. It's Harstam. And our Green Zerg player in the bottom right, playing for True Esports, his name is Elazer. Mm. And he's he's up 2-1 against Harstam. Harstam supposedly at one of the peaks of his career right now. Yeah, no, I mean, Harstam has just been doing an absolutely amazing job winning Home Story Cup, actually. It's uh, something he's very, very proud of, and uh, definitely good to see from him, and He's just an absolute character and a lot of fun to cast. So far, we've seen Harstam open up one gas, uh, Gateway, Nexus, Cybernetics Core. Uh, so I would love to see him do something slightly different, but I honestly expect him just to continue to open up safely. He's been doing well against the laser in the, in, in the early game. I don't see why he would change that at all. Yeah, I, I don't really either, but you know what those rebels don't deserve? cake man everyone that's deserves cake at some point in their life like a birthday or true. like when they wake up in the morning and it's any day during the week that's a good time for cake yeah um my cake schedule is actually um a little limited right now but the pie ooh, monday through friday guys it's too much not too much never too much we do have the second gas for harstam harstam gonna go into a little bit of a uh, standard play recently we've seen uh, the twilight council come down right after this followed by two gates we've also seen a stargate for over on the laser side i guessing he's gonna go three to four queens the third hatch will pop up anytime now there's that drone headed down towards the third yeah drone just wanted to go take that real quick probe actually getting kicked out of that main there I mean, Arstum, he saw a little bit of stuff going on here. I mean, he saw the, naturally saw the main, he saw the speed finishing or underway. And I mean, this pro actually just got sniped. Holy cow. First blood, guys. First blood. This add up chasing the lings. Uh, I mean, you know, wants to make sure that this ling isn't going to get any real scout in, but unfortunately for Harstam, all of his buildings are up front. Most of his buildings, I should say. Uh, Twilight Council just finished Resonating Glaives on the way. Silver, do you think we're going to see the same stuff we've seen? Harstam is a very... Uh, his stylized, man. He knows his play, play is very much... Um, I don't want to say omni, omnidirectional, but he plays very um, similar in the, in the early game, and his late game is very varied. So right now we're going to see an Adept opener uh, into whatever he wants. So we've seen Adepts into DTs. We've seen Adepts into Stargate. Uh, we've also just seen like a massive Adept push. So right now, actually it was Adept Immortal, wasn't it? We haven't even seen a uh, mass Adept play yet. And that is not uncommon right now against Zerg. Yeah, I mean, we, we've definitely seen a lot of that. And uh, real quick, though... The creep spread is looking pretty good. Lings are going to be scouting through the map. And you know what I want to see? I want to see some war prisms. That's going to be a lot of fun. I know we saw it a little bit uh, in one of our earlier matches here, but I think I'd be uh, pretty cheeky of Harstam. Yeah, that would be absolutely awesome to see some harassment from our, from our Protoss player. But he does grab a considerably early uh, third Nexus, which means he's going to head back into that mid to late gameplay definitely wants to get a laser off his game out of where he's powerful the roach warn is down the lair is on the way Ooh. roach is in production but here come our adepts across the map and you know <clears throat> depending on whether or not he wants to again just poke in and cause a lack of drone production um or just do some damage there are, will be six roaches to fight him yeah no roaches are i mean they're pretty powerful i shouldn't say that they're tanky but I mean, these add-ups, they're, they're just going to keep transferring between 
naturals, right? Uh, very possibly. He definitely has that uh, option. Looks like a laser is reading that and uh, sending units to both bases. The adept shading out of the main. Yeah, no, adepts, as uh, mentioned previously, are just going to be shading between bases and just trying to cause as much havoc as they possibly can. And uh, So, I mean, adepts are pretty good units, some would say. Uh, yeah, adepts pretty good. It's like when people used to say, Mar Marine, good unit, adept, good unit. I mean, we all know that Blizzard's nerfing the Marine. That's, That's a, a sad joke. day. I don't even want to know that. That's yeah, never going to happen. Yeah, sorry. It happened. Um, Mar <laughs> Marine, per Marine, perfect unit. Oh, man, we do have uh, some sentries and adepts all coalescing in the middle of the map right now for Harstum, and looks like he's going to want to uh, just kind of reinforce that a little bit better, and he might actually be able to push on out completely. But it is three base versus three base, and, I mean, Silver, what's... We do see Glyle, reconstru or Glyle reconstruction underway as the Roach speed, and uh, do you think we're going to see a lot of Roach Ravager? I think we'll see a little bit of Roach Ravenger, but he's going to get Lurkers on the field as soon as possible. I've said this time and time again. Uh, Lings and Banes are usually what's used to hold off Adepts because they're quick, and the Banes affect uh, Adepts so quickly. Um, a laser shown that he prefers... There's a War Prison play right here. Ooh, my dreams are coming true. Four drones are dead as of now. This War Prism just trying to get all sorts of damage done, but... Here come the roaches to try and defend this off. The queen's also here to push it off, and uh, that war prism does have to reposition itself. As previously mentioned, though, only four... Oh, actually, overall, nine drones were murdered. Cold blood. Right. So what I was saying was, what's, what's usual now is that they go into uh, lur uh, lurkers as fast as possible. Ooh, we do actually... Sorry about that. We do have a roach aggression here, and... Uh, sorry, roach reinforcements, I suppose. It was a little push, but Hearthstone was able to push that off. So. Taking down those rocks, he wants to make sure there's only one path that he can go up easily. Yeah. And, I mean, those rocks almost done, and that's exactly I what he that. wants. I love that he's like, you can try to go up that, you can try, but I only got to poke it to knock it down, which is an awesome um, mental idea here right now. Very, um, Ooh. oh, I guess I guess he decided that not, not to take the chance. Maybe it was like, you're near there, and I want you to, I, I want to play a little bit of a mind game here. Yeah, try it, go ahead. Try to go up that ramp. But, I mean, then he just kind of knocked it down, so I think he just... Kind of said, eh, never mind. Lurkers have been formed, and it looks like a laser is going to try and get all the damage on the left side. And actually, right now, Arsum looks like he's going to be repositioning. But not quite. I mean, Silver, this is this is pretty precarious here. How do you think a uh, laser can really engage this? A laser is teching up right now. It looks like he's heading towards Colossus or Disruptors, but either way, he needs to defend against that attack. That's coming in from the back of his natural. Ooh, we do have uh, Ling run by on the right side. We have the rocks down on the left side. Everything is just going absolutely nuts, and these lurkers just doing so much damage. Not just that, but the Ling's also on the right side, finally getting pushed off. The main army for Laser or Sarharsum has been distracted, and we have at least, uh, holy cow, so many units have, or workers have been killed. 67 for uh, Laser and 63 for Hearthstone, so both players are really just slugging it out over here. Just so many uh, workers going down, these Lurkers and Hydras just going to keep on picking here. And this so, looks like it's going to get pushed out. Silver, I mean, what do you think about this? Yeah, this attack is almost over. He might get the Nexus with that Lurker, very unlikely, but... There's a definite possibility if he just... He's walking his entire army on top of that Lurker, and it's gonna get the Nexus! Ooh, the Nexus is down. We did have a counterattack from Harstam on the bottom side of the map, uh, but these Lurkers keep going to town on this army. Holy cow, I just can't even... It's just so much. So much damage, guys. And finally, Lurker getting cleaned up here. Uh, multiple observers coming out, and lots of Stalkers and Adops getting warped in here. Not a fun position for a Protoss to have to replace their natural, being pushed in uh, from the back rocks. Not, I'm not sure if he didn't see it or if he just didn't react well enough. 
But those lings back there now trying to take advantage of that big hole that's left. Maybe try to pick off some probes. Maybe just try to get a big a big scout off that overlord in the main though sees just about everything it needs to. Yeah, and uh, we do see the main host for a laser moving on over to the right side of the map. It looks like we are going to have a little bit of an engage here, but a laser trying to be careful about this. He doesn't he doesn't want to throw everything away. At least from what I'm seeing here, and a dropper overlord on the left side of the map here. Looks like he's going to want to pick up these lings. Uh, I mean, we're going to see, yep, there it is, the Dropper Overlord, as well as the natural for Hearthstone. There's a lurker, but the main there's army. A, ugh. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a big distraction out in the front of the base, trying to uh, draw attention away from the lings being dropped in the back of the base. Yeah, the base is just, ooh, I mean... Here comes the main attack, though. Lings moving on forward, just going to try and pick off anything that they can. More adepts getting pushed into this, and uh, actually cyclones are, sorry, disruptors on the way. Uh, Lings actually getting cleaned up, but at this natural, these lurkers are just doing absolutely tremendous amounts of damage along with these hydras, so Harstub has to kind of be careful here. Where are his observers? Oh. GG! He just couldn't take the pressure. Man, a laser is just wrecking Harstam. Now 3-1, he's going to be bring us to match point, and he's going to put Harstam in a really nasty position, having to win three games against someone who's already beat him three times. Um, the game was so positional. A laser taking advantage of, what, four or five different angles of attack throughout the entire game? Yeah, a laser has just been absolutely monstrous with his attack paths. And I think a big part of this, guys, when I say get Hydras as fast as possible, I'm talking like people are skipping skipping the Hydra range and Hydra speed or whichever. Um, and they're just going straight for Lurkers, the Lurker Den, and then getting that. Um, specifically so that when someone attacks, a lot of the times Protosses are skipping the Observer to get a unit quicker to attack faster. So if you have a Lurker out there on time and they don't have detection, you, they can't do anything about that. They have to attack on top of something they can't kill. <laughs> 